So in this video, I'm going to talk about drawing free body diagrams. And specifically, I'm just going to look at two blocks with one being on top of each other. Yeah. So it tells us that two blocks are moving to the right and it's slowing down. So the blocks are moving to the right and they're slowing down. Okay. So we call this mass one. We call this M2. So let's look at the free body diagram for mass one. How would we draw it? Well, we know that the motion is going, we, we know that the motion is in, is going to the right. So it's in the X direction. So it's it's opposite, it's parallel, it's it's perpendicular to gravity. So we know those, we know those kind of affect our force. So let's look at the mass one, okay? What are the forces that are acting upon it, okay? Well, I see that there's some sort of tension force. Uh, okay, let's let's not even get there first. Let's look at the, the, the long range forces. Well, again, we have gravity, okay? So let's, give it and the magnitudes don't have to be exactly as perfect perfect but they have to make sense okay so we know this is f grav so maybe so this is gravity one okay so we know we have some sort of gravity on mass one okay well what do we have in the opposite direction that will cancel out gravity well we actually have the normal force of mass two up on black one you see that so the normal force is going to be opposite of gravity uh, which is why the block doesn't fall fall through this okay so normal force has to be equal and opposite so therefore we have normal force of mass 2 okay so we're gonna label it as that so we have the normal force of mass 2 and again there's my center there's my object squished down to a dot okay now, what's going on in the, in the x direction? Okay, well, I see that the object is being pulled for the mass, just only for mass one, the object is being pulled to the right. So we could definitely see that there's some sort of force of tension. So let's say this is force of tension. Uh, so this is a force of tension. Okay, so we have some force of tension going to the right. Okay. However, what do we have going to the left? Okay, because remember, the objects are slowing down, the objects are slowing down. So if we're pulling to the right, there has to be some sort of force that's opposing my force in order for the block to slow down. And in fact, remember, these blocks are moving against the frictional surface, right? Between mass one and two, between the two blocks, we have static frictional force here. So that's why the two blocks are not moving. The two blocks are moving together. Okay, so the two blocks are moving together. So this one is has static frictional force. So we have static frictional force between the two. Hence the reason why those hence the reason why when you push this, uh both blocks move and not just the block just the top block just fall, fall off. Okay. And so we have static frictional force between the two blocks. And so static frictional force, yeah, so it's gonna be larger. Okay, so we have the force of static friction. And let's call this static friction of mass two. Okay, we have the force of static friction that will be larger in the x direction because the object is slowing down. Okay, does that make any sense? So my so my static frictional force would be less than the force of tension because my object is slowing down. And so in a net force, so we could say the net force, and let's say the net force of one. Yes, yeah, so 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 net force one is going to be in that direction okay. net force is going to be in that direction so f net is equal to the static frictional force is going to be in that direction okay so this is how we would draw the free body diagram for the first block on top now what about the second one how would we draw for mass 2 how would we draw the free body diagram so let's say this is mass 2 well if i take a look at this now I have kinetic friction between the block and the surface, between mass two and the surface, okay? But let's look at the long range forces first. So we know we have gravity that's pulling straight down. So we have, so let's say this is gravity. So this is gravity. So this is gravity two. Yeah, so we have gravity that's pulling it down. There's my object squished down to a dot. So there's gravity, okay? What else do we have? Do you notice that I have a normal force that's the block is actually on mass two. So we have some sort of contact force on mass one 
from mass one you see that and that's going down also that's that's going down on the block okay so maybe we could say this we maybe we'll call it some sort of normal force on 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 on, on from mass one so we have some sort of normal force so f normal or mass one okay we have some sort of force that's pulling pushing down on the block and we we got to we got to signal that that there's some sort of force there okay now the block is not falling through the ground mass 2 is not falling through the ground which means that there has to be some force that's opposing gravity plus this so therefore i have some sort of normal force from the ground which will be twice as much you see it's going to so you know because my block is not falling through the ground and so my normal force has to be twice as much so maybe i could approximate this to be as twice as much so this would be my normal force of the ground okay should be my normal force of the ground which is twice or uh, should be twice um uh, which will be equal and opposite to this which is the, which is the addition of these vectors so my normal force is going to be twice as high okay and hence the reason why the block stays on the surface okay now what's happening in the, in the x direction remember we said the object is slowing down and so when the object is moving to the right I actually have kinetic friction now because of mass 2 and the ground I have kinetic friction okay and so uh, to the right well what's moving this object to the right okay what's moving mass 2 to the right is actually static friction between the, uh, between mass 1 and mass 2 so we have static friction between mass 1 and 2 they're stationary and hence the reason why mass 2 is moving so we have static friction that's moving to the right yeah, so maybe you say this is force of static friction. Yeah, so this is force of static friction, and let's say this is static friction. Let's say this is static friction um, of mass one. Okay, okay, so it's a static friction of, of mass one that's causing mass two to move to the right. Okay, and then because the object is slowing down, kinetic friction has to be greater. Has to, great, has to be greater than opposite because we have kinetic friction between mass two and the ground. Okay, so this would be kinetic friction of the ground. Okay, and this will be um, greater than the static frictional force, hence the reason why the, blocks, the block is actually slowing down. And so we could say the net force, so F net two is also going in this direction. Okay, which is equal to the frictional force. Okay, so this is how we would represent the free body diagram of, of, of you know a block, two blocks on top of each other. Now the opposite is true. Maybe maybe if the block's just slowing down, we can do the exact opposite. 